What's up, everybody? We're here at Wonderfront Music and Arts Festival in San Diego, California, and I am sitting down today with Myron Elkins and Caleb from their band. We just finished an amazing session with them here uh, at our pop-up stage sponsored by Proud Source Water. How y'all feeling? Good. Yeah, it's uh, we've been coming out to California quite a bit. I don't know. what well, It's all festivals, too. We've been lucky with that. This might be, this might be the the most uh, shows we played in the state this year, honestly. Nice. So you guys aren't from California, right? you just no. been spending time out here playing some? So. Yeah, yep. Uh, we did uh, multiple shows with a band named Kaleo here, and then we've done, this will be our third, our, third, uh, our third festival here. Originally, we're based out of Nashville, Tennessee now, but originally we're from Kalamazoo, Michigan. Hell yeah, <laughs> I'm familiar with that. Yeah. yeah. Foot of snow right now. Yeah, <laughs> are you guys all from there, more or less? Like, are you yeah, guys yeah, the, uh, the bass player and... Uh, the drummer uh, aren't from that specific area, but pretty close. Wow. About three hours for you. Nice. So you grew up in Kalamazoo, Michigan, Yeah, in a, too? In a, in a smaller town down the road, playing yeah. well. So. And so how long have you guys known each other? Uh, probably four years. Okay. Yeah. So did you grow up in the same kind of area, but your newer friends, essentially? Right? Yeah. So uh, we started this thing. It was with my cousin Ricky, uh, and uh, he knew Caleb. They were in a band... Uh, doing covers and uh he kind of recruited him he's like we need this guy and then uh from there we just been obsessed with trying to i guess create and kind of just develop as uh musicians yeah you guys sounded incredible i mean your band sounded really tight you guys all sounded i mean it was really it was a really great session i'm excited for our channel to see it you know i'm a huge fan of the genre and i'm a huge fan of what you guys are doing your sound that you're trying to push so um i'm excited to see you know what it looks like, you know, afterwards. It's always so cool to yeah, be here I'd, live and then see it, you know, the video composition and the edit, and you're like, absolutely. that's fucking sick, you know. I'm not super, I, this, this is gonna, my, I don't want to sound like a douche or anything, no, but I'm not super, uh, I'm not super familiar. Yeah. Uh, so with, you want me to tell you a little bit yeah, more what, about? Yeah, what's, what's what you're going to have is like spinning? Is it going to be like, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. No, man, I mean, we're a, we're a live, we're a, we're a, we record live acoustic sessions. You know, Sugar Shack started nine years ago in Eddie's house. Eddie's roaming around here, but he was the guy filming on the, the, okay. the gimbal, you know. Hell yeah, and, Eddie. Um, Eddie's been, uh, yeah, I mean, Eddie kind of started the idea. He brought kind of like a band, like brought five of okay. dudes together that were good friends of his. And said, let's start like a, a session channel. You know, like there's like Jam in the Band or yeah. Tiny Desks or whatever. But just the video composition of his back deck at his house okay. was just the coolest thing. It was all of these green palms everywhere. And it just looked like this very tropical scene. And he filmed uh, one of his best friend's music videos out there. And he knew that he wanted to like gotcha. yeah, that's go awesome. into it after that. You know what I mean? And so he's been doing it for nine years. The guys have been and the team's growing and developing. And, and now... I mean, we're we're a globally recognized music channel. We're based a lot in the modern reggae scene, but oh, we're really? branching out into like folk, Americana, hip hop, country. Gotcha. I mean, really a lot of uh, uh, eclectic genres that are coming in. But um, the 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 one rule that we have is is that there are no electric guitars allowed. So you have to kind yeah, of reimagine your music in an acoustic setting. Yeah, I more feel- intimate, raw, live. If it don't work that way, it might it, right. might, it might not be worthy. <laughs> might not be a good song. But <laughs> so we, we we record all of our all of the all of the sessions that are recorded are 100 percent live, and we don't do any editing really on the back end of them. So they have to finish the whole song in one take. Yeah. Gotcha. All so right. it's it's pretty rad. And so we'll edit this and then we'll post it to our channel and we'll expose you guys to our audience. You know that awesome, might not be man. familiar with with you yet and so it's a cool way to push your sound out to a whole new demographic of people that might be looking for something just like what you guys sound like you know awesome I mean? yeah well thank you again for having us Absolutely. Uh, yeah we're kind of um very very uh very new to all of this and uh uh for somebody to kind of take a chance it always feels good and um yeah we're just thankful for being yeah. here well you guys sounded amazing tell me more about where you're headed? I mean, you 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 were kind of sharing a little bit off stage with me, just your kind of heart to take the 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 project in a direction that's like more soul filled and yeah, kinda old old roots and. So uh, when we first started this thing, we we were all big fans of the Americana movement at the time, and uh, I think. For me personally, I was starting to write kind of the the sad storyteller stuff, and uh, as we kind of developed as a band. Uh, that all started to fall apart 
quickly. It just seemed weird, didn't seem right. And uh, for the last four years, we've developed into this kind of thing where it just feels like uh, uh, a lot of the older artists, where it was uh, just a bunch of Roots music kind of put together. And um, uh, we're kind of just steering away from the whole... Uh, the uh, stripped down sad song stuff and yeah. kind of trying to just put some put some movement in it and just kind of uh, uh, sound like some of the people we've been really just obsessed with for the last probably three years. Yeah. We've just been obsessed with acts, uh, obscure kind of uh, soul, funk, rock and roll stuff. Um, and uh, that's kind of where we've been for the last three years, like I said. And we're just uh, to kind of do that thing feel like we probably won't ever have this thing pinned down, but it's always something that's kind of be dangling there. And that's yeah. what we're going for. Sick. I mean, you guys have a great sound. A lot of people were enjoying it at our, you know, the session just a few moments ago. And I'm excited to see, I think you guys are going to catch a cool wave. And I think there's a, I was saying earlier, there's already like a soul roots movement happening. It's just, yes, you yeah. just, you're a part of that like pioneering season where it's not like fully developed yet. You know what I mean? Yeah, but yeah. You're giving inspiration to other people to like listen to it, to play it, to put that kind of music out too, and so it's cool. I dig it a lot. I well, really like your sound. Well, a thank lot. you. Yeah, and you know, a lot of it has to do. We started working with uh, this producer out of Nashville named Dave Cobb, and he's uh, he's helped us tremendously. Just kind of. Uh, soak it all in as far as all that American roots kind of music goes and um, it's kind of for the last two years uh, after we left the studio from cutting this album coming out in January uh, we, uh, we've done nothing but write and kind of uh, be more obsessed over kind of that kind of sound. It's awesome. Uh, one of my favorite songs that you guys played uh, on the session just a minute ago was Hands to My Cell. Yeah. Really cool. I'd love to hear more about that song and just the writing process of it. I know Caleb hasn't really talked much. <laughs> <laughs> I'll ask you a question in a minute. <laughs> no worries, man. I, this couch is comfy. I'm good. Yeah. It's a good couch. Yeah. It's a great couch, actually. Yeah. Thanks, it's all, Yeah. It's all brown and just nice. Comfy. But uh, we, um, uh, Hands to Myself was a song... I wrote a long time ago. It was really, uh, um, but it might have been the kickstart to the whole movement thing. Um, when we brought it into the studio, I wrote it about my uh, uh, my mom's uh, friend from work, and she's going through some stuff that I just never really could wrap my head around. Mm. And uh, we brought it into the studio, and uh, I guess the people around us at the time felt that song was like, well, we, we should get this done and do it right. And we did, I feel like. I feel like uh, it turned out great. Um, and it's probably our favorite song on the, the album just because it's uh, it's got the story aspect and it's got the movement aspect. Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's kind of one of those honest just storyteller songs that is disguised uh, by that kind of... Uh, that groovy kind of uh, kind of funk kind of soul kind of thing you it's know? a sad song with a dance groove yeah, yeah. right <laughs> with the people give them what they want right now. <laughs> yeah yeah sometimes you gotta sneak it in uh, yeah that's, for sure. that's, that song does well with sneaking in a message we actually just played over there and somebody had the idea to uh, put a, a a dancing like stripper lady behind us while we were playing it I think they got oh, kind of the the wrong <laughs> idea the wrong, <laughs> yeah the wrong idea that's probably gonna be the most the most uh, misunderstood song we ever record or write. Uh, right. Accidentally. Right, right. Um, just, I don't think we could write a song more more misleading than that one. Yeah. And not that we try to write any song to sound like anything at all, but yeah, it takes the cake for that, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's why it's fun. Yeah. yeah, right, right. It's open for interpretation, I suppose, yeah. in some ways. But Caleb, tell me more about you, man. Like... What do you want to know? Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? Like, <laughs> um, Shredding guitar. Yeah. I'm Great just, guitar player, but outside of that. Yeah. Um, just been playing guitar with Myron has been my main focus for three three years now. And um, we're just kind of in this transition to where we're all trying to play as much as we can and create as much as we can. And that's... That, Going that, all in on it. Yeah. I think the key is to try to stay in that in that environment as long as possible. So Yeah. That's what our main focus is, I think. Awesome. Well, where are you guys headed after this? Uh, we're going home to um, 
uh, Michigan for Thanksgiving, and then uh, we're wrapping up the year with Marcus King uh, in the Carolinas, nice. and then uh, we're going to release this album, and we're probably going to uh, aim to be on the road and promoting it as much as we can. Awesome. Uh, and uh, thankfully, we're working with a really good team, and everything feels like it's good, so uh, we've never been the best with developing a audience like i told you earlier it's always been a uh, kind of touch and go and we're not social media guys and the music we're doing isn't necessarily the big uh all the all the rave i guess so having a good team and having confidence in kind of what we made uh we've got that we'll just kind of have to see where it goes yeah well you're here you're here, you're playing music, yeah. <laughs> so it's pretty yeah. awesome. Hey, thank you guys so much for joining us today. Uh, excited to see uh, your music on our channel and Killer Session once again. Absolutely. Myron, Caleb, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. That's a wrap on this episode of the Sugar Shack Podcast. Till next time, y'all. Peace. Yo, it's the Sugar, 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 Sugar Shack. Yo. Sit back, relax, because it's time for another podcast. Smoke a joint. <laughs> Somebody said I looked zoinked. What's zoinked?